Here we have a B18C P72 GSR head. We're going to be porting. We're going to try to make this video as detailed as possible. It's for you guys for the north. Yeah, we'll talk about their group later. Yes, we get to this point here. Yes, we're going to try to make this as detailed as we can, like the steps, the sequence and the steps that we do to achieve this point. Yes, from carbide all the way to 80 grit. And of course, showing you halfway through, like here almost there but not yet there like here we're going to show you what the stuff that we avoid get the head finished up yes with all the final details like the valve seals and all that will the guys from the north use it at a b16a or b20 vtec find out as we'll talk about it more here all right let's go <laughs> Here it is, we unpacked it. Raph Watson, cousin of Marvin Del Rosario. They're both active at the SRD page. We actually did a few, two manifolds, two th P30 manifolds for RAF, and they're from cab speed up north, yes. So they're gonna plan to use this on a B16A with the CTR pistons and Pro 2 cams. That's gonna be crazy, it might do 200, but eventually they'll install it on their B20 VTEC. So that's gonna be even better. We're gonna see the maximum limit of this head. So yep, let's go to work on it. Yes, we, and when actually we've done a similar one on the B16A, we'll talk about it later. Here, we've inked up the flange. This way it shows me if I'm getting onto the edge or not. So it's just for reference. Yes, we start with the carbide. We do on the sides first because I've noticed there's a core shift on this one. They're always different. Each core, each head is always different. So this one, we decided to go with the carbide on the sides first just to get it all consistent. Yep, here it is. Yes, now we're gonna show you. Well, no, let's go with the exhaust now first, sorry. Yes, now go with the carbide. Now this is the important part where you need a gas mask or a face mask because the carbon dust here is not good for your lungs. You gotta make sure you take care of your health when you do that, so you gotta make sure of that, right? Here, now we go with the 80 grit on the, on the exhaust because we've already managed to shape it up with a carbide real quick like that. You see the carbon dust? That's not good for your lungs. So you have to wear a gas mask or a face mask just to be safe. Because health, our health is more important, all right? There you go. Yes. Now let me show you close. This is not much to see, but you know, at least you get to see how it's getting there or how it's starting to shape up, yep. Okay, now let's check onto the intake now. Here, we go with 80 grit again, just to make sure everything is consistent as the fresh carbide cut is gonna be all contoured to the rest of the ports. Yep, starting to look good, starting to look good. But you know, later on it's gonna be more visible, so you gotta check it out. We're gonna show you some good stuff here. Yep, here you go, let me show you up close. Oh yeah, still far from you know how we want it, but it's getting there. It is starting to cure up the core shift. It's gonna be really, really good. Yep, we're gonna do further work here. All right, let's continue. Here we make a few more passes, then it's good. Like over here, after a few passes, now it's getting decent. Yes, now we gotta head up to the exhaust. So let's flip the head and we go with the 80 grit here on the exhaust. Again, you gotta have your face mask or gas mask because you'll notice the carbon dust just blows off. That's not good for your lungs or our health. So you gotta always be safe, guys. Take care of your health. There's no point in getting to do all this good stuff and then your health deteriorates. That's no bueno, all right? Yep, last one here. Okay, now I'll show you up close. Yep, it's getting there, it's getting there. Still far from being done, but it's getting there. Yeah, it is getting fun, right? Yes, and before we continue, I need a favor, hit the like button because the more likes the video get, the more activity it shows in the algorithm. Therefore, it gets spread out to our wider audience. It gets grow to grow the channel even better. So I, I highly appreciate that 
for the channel guys thank you for that if you haven't you gotta subscribe this way whenever you log into youtube you can check out all the other videos we have you can binge watch we have over 310 videos here so you gotta enjoy all of it you gotta take your time so you gotta subscribe so you can check it out on your own free time yes and for the hardcore yes we got a membership only here you gotta join the members only for the hardcore videos you have ultra hardcore here like all the details including dialer tuning ec tuning even the tricks and the we do on the bottom end building the engines yes all right so let's continue all right we're still on 80 grit on the intake bowl yep now we clean it up yeah speed it up yes all right 80 grit it helps get the desired shape that we want and the, the consistency the, from the transition from the bowl to the seat and of course from the port side walls to the bowl it has to be good like this as you can see behind the seat the core shift it got too deep that's the core shift and we, we don't really try to clean that up because if you do you just swipe that off you're gonna make the bowl a bit like crooked and the cross section will be too big here you can see on the bottom side the core shift is still left untouched because the throat ratio will be too big if you start cleaning it up you'd need to run a bigger valve and of course you're gonna slow the airspeed it's gonna be too hogged out all right now let's continue here now we invert it now we go with the exhaust bowl still 80 grit yes yeah, to start to clean it up yes we are gas mask guys all right because the carbon dust here is really really bad for our lungs yep here is getting cleaner though you know so later when we get to 120 degree oh it's gonna be oh so nice you'll see so let's finish it up here last one all right yes now let's go back to the intake side here it's 120 grit to clean it up because earlier we were on 80 grit right so now we're going to 120 grit and you will see how it looks after yes it's gonna be so good now i speed it up yep as you can see the dull finish is changing because this is 120 grit it's still smooth but not not really mirror finish or not really really glass smooth but the texture is just perfect yes like that port side walls and get the rest yes it's gonna be consistent this one here yes all right now let me show you up close oh look at that it's getting there it's getting there all right yes now we're gonna work on the transition from the port side wall to the bowl that's gonna be for later as you can see here it's getting good but the missing part is a little more cleanup on the bowl yep that's for later all right now we invert the head here Okay, now we go with the intake bowl. We're gonna clean it up. And yes, this time we're gonna go with 120 grit right here. So it's gonna be a lot cleaner than how it was with the 80 grit and you'll see it. So when we're done with this, let's continue. As you can see, the dull finish, the, 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 uh, the dull shine is getting better. Getting more evident, sorry. Yeah, here it is. That's good. Invert it now onto the exhaust bowl. But still 120 grit. Yes, getting good, getting good. Oh yeah. Continue with that. Continue. Occasionally spray the lube to make it good and clean. Yes, that's it. You try to feel it if it's good and all that. Yep, now it's all cleaned up. Let me show you up close. Oh, look at that. Looking good, looking good, right? Yep, this 120 grit finish. The intake bowl and the exhaust bowl. Yep. Now we can wash, we make a few more passes and then we wash it up. Let's go to the workbench, let's go. And here we are now. Oh, it's all getting clean. It's so all cleaned up now. Yes, you can see the intake ports is getting good. The transition is perfect. And you can see the behind the valve seat by the edge of the bowl. We didn't touch that because it's going to be too large. So that's not, no good. No bueno. Right here, this cools up with a better lighting. Here you go. 
as you can see the core shift right behind the seat we left it untouched because you can if you clean that up it's gonna get too big but you can see the port side walls transitioning to the bow is like really really good and really perfect yes and some would say you know you need to knife edge this and that and whatnot but you know what we actually do the same exact thing on the b16 on the p30 and did good results and so we'll talk about that a little bit more later yep look at this the transition is perfect yes all right now here are the pictures look at that right on this side here and this and on this bowl here oh yeah that's the pores on the casting so we don't have to clean that up it's gonna be you know all crooked up and as mentioned earlier we did the same thing on the b16a I ended up doing that it we didn't get to dyno it but when the owner decided to go to b20 vtech it made 242 dollars per hour through a muffler on a crv that's crazy good right yep so now here it is look at the exhaust yes it's all good already yep Yes, we can actually try to hog it out to make it look good, but that'll be, you know, you'd be killing airspeed. So exit speed won't be really good. And the goal here is to have good exit speed. This way the engine can be efficient easily or be efficient on its own. So it's gonna be perfect and really good. Yes, this now this head needs to go to the machine shaft for the resurfacing and all the other details. Yes, but look at see the chamber. We cleaned up the chamber. We have a detailed chamber video on the members only section. So you have to join the members only. Check it out. Even the valve seat and the three angle valve job. It's over there. All full of details. Yes. Now let's take it back to the porting bench just to do a final cleanup. Just a few more passes. Like it's still gonna be 120 grit, nothing special. Just you know, a few more passes just to make sure everything is consistent and clean. And then we're gonna wash it up. Yes and take it back to the porting bench. Here it is, look, let's see. Yes, here, after the final passes, as you can see, it's a lot cleaner, it looks good. Yes, now it's perfect. Yep, now we look close with the lighting. Oh, you look at that, looks really good, right? Now this, RAF is gonna make a really good power with a B16A on a Type R Pistons and a Pro 2 cams. This might reach 200. But at the same time, when they get done with that project and they switch this up to a B20 VTEC, 240, 242, 245 horsepower on the pump gas is gonna be super easy on this. Granted, they have a Pro 2 cam or a Pro 3, that's even better. So it's gonna be fun for them. Yes, now here, the exhaust. We made a few more passes just to clean it up. Not really hog it out, just to make sure everything is contoured good. As you can see here, the exhaust is pretty decent. It's actually really, really good, right? Now let's look, we can look at it closer with a better lighting. Let me show you, uh, here it is, look at that. Yes, you can see the ridge at the behind, behind the seat. We don't try to hog that out, but you can see the light shows you the consistent curve. Oh, this is gonna be really good. It's gonna have really, really good exit speed. So they're gonna be making good power with this, be it a B16A, or when it goes to a B20 VDEC, it's gonna be crazy. Here's a picture of it, a closer, yep. Look at that, in here. Transition from the bowl to the port side wall to the exit, it's really good. Here you can see the light, the curve is just perfect, right? Yes, yeah, so now the head is just waiting for the, cause RAF messaged me and said, you know, they're gonna send me a, Sferea valves, we're gonna plug that, but we can't really plug it because they're gonna run the B16. So we're gonna, you know, thread it up and prepare the dowels. Here's the valve seal we're gonna use, but we're waiting up for, for RAF to send the Ferreira valves and the blocks valve train. So this is gonna be perfect. We're gonna assemble it. It comes with a cost for having us port it. If it's complete, we're gonna do that. If you guys wanna see the video of us finishing it up with a conversion, yes, you can definitely click it here.